Here's a song that offers a little hope for the children of the 80s. It's called People Still Dance in the Dark. Life here on earth, starting at birth. It's hard to look straight in the eye. You're naked and blind. So they slap your behind just to see them. You know how to cry. They send you to school. They assume you're a fool. So they write in your name on your shoes. When you get on your feet, then they make you compete just to see them. You know how to lose The people still dance in the dark Hold hands in the park Send a wish up above Things aren't as bad as they sometimes appear Cause people still fall in love You're shy when you're young And the cat's got your tongue If you're skinny, they say you eat like a bird And they put you to sleep Counting all of their sheep Just to see that you're part of their herd Weary and worn, tattered and torn journey must come to an end when they lower you down it's the love that you found that would make you go through it again because people still dance in the dark hold hands in the park send a wish up above People still fall in love and they dance in the dark, hold hands in the park, send a wish up above. Things aren't as bad as they sometimes appear, cause people still fall in love. After Christmas, Orchestra Hall, wonderful facility, of course, located in downtown Minneapolis. Um, as we've indicated, good seats are... Do they ever say bad seats are still available for anything? <laughs> it's a wonderful <laughs> euphemism. L think lousy seats you can't hear, you can't see, but what the heck. That's good right. seats are available from the Dayton's... The perfect Christmas gift. Yes, it is. It is. Put some tickets in a Christmas stocking. I promise No it. batteries needed. Oh, you some are assembly required, required, right? Those of us, Michael, who sit and listen to you think, if just one day in my life, I had the ability to open my mouth and sing that well and play, play a guitar that well. When you possess that talent, I know you live with it every day, so I assume you're not really in awe of it, but how does it feel? Because you do know you're very talented. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good. I think that's, that's true and honest of me. Um, I have other inadequacies. I'm afraid of the dishwasher. I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> not, that, not just mundane things. There are lots of coping skills and talents that I... You know, I need, and I'd like to work on that. You know, I, this is off the beaten track, but I've, I've talked recently to somebody who was one of the greatest play-by-play -play announcers in the business anywhere, and he has a great fear of crowds. He is mm. absolutely petrified to go into a stadium or a field house or something of this sort. If he had his druthers, he'd never walk inside. He's mm -hmm. one of the greatest play-by-play -play, uh, people there is in the country. Yeah, I've heard that there are lots of performers who, and I'm one of them, who need to do things that are scary in order to feel okay about mm. myself, to say, oh yeah, well, Give yourself a little I did test. That. I can yeah. handle it. Do, are right. you frightened still? Sure. After all these years oh, when you yeah. perform? Mm -hmm. Every concert? No, not every concert, and it's the ones that I'm not scared that I feel 
probably the least value out of those. Mm. You know, it's like, did I do anything tonight when I come off stage and my coffee's still warm or something like that? It's just like, <laughs> well, I guess I'll check the mail. We yeah. asked in that special and on that tape that we saw, is this it? And you said your mother liked having an oh. it. Um, this is it, right, Michael? I mean, for the rest of Michael Johnson's life, he will sing and play the guitar for whoever will listen? I believe so. Whether or not it becomes a... Uh, whether or not it remains a career, I don't really know that, but I will always play and sing. And I what would music. you do if you didn't do that for a career? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm interested in. And as a matter of fact, I went to the U to talk about some vocational assessment to examine that. And I discovered, among other things, that I am not equipped to be a musician, is what they told me. I took those, one of those tests and put the pegs in the holes. Minnesota multiphasic or something? Well, I took that as well, and there was also some, some and physical And you're not work. equipped to be a musician? No, I'm in the 21 percentile. Gives us a lot of faith dexterity. in these tests, doesn't uh, yes. it? Oh, boy. What are you equipped to be? Um, I am good at verbal things, yeah. and I would be, uh, I'd be good working with people. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, and I haven't investigated it farther. I was so <laughs> bummed out. I didn't do it. December 26th, Orchestra Hall. Call Orchestra Hall. Call Dayton's Michael Johnson in concert. Congratulations Thank on you. the upcoming addition to the household. Thank you, know, you sir. I love to Sally a boy or a girl and the new baby. The yes. We'll be right back. Uh, we have an opportunity to visit with... Um, well, I call her Lassie's mother. Everybody knows who Lassie's mother is. I was out of town, and I envy you the experience, because though we've met her in the past, it's always delightful to spend time with June Lockhart. June Lockhart truly is yeah. a delightful lady. She absolutely radiates enthusiasm and sparkle, and great, fun guest. Among other things, we can get her into the kitchen to share some cooking recipes with you. Really? Yes, yes, yes. No end to the talents. Again, Michael Johnson, <laughs> good night, sir. Thanks, Nancy. Thank good night, Michael. You. Thank you, Warren. Good night, Warren. Good night to you, Nancy. Night, Norm. Good night, Jim. Night, Cliff. Gary, Cliff. Night, Gary. Good night, night Pat. Johnny. Night, Eddie. Night, Ray.